Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to enable the carousel feature in our Amazon Connect chatbot using Lex V1 version 1. Okay. Uh, before moving on, uh, so this is for all the uh, videos that you are watching for any of the creator. Do subscribe to their channel for my, it is pretty low. <laughs> so do subscribe to the channel. Okay, so moving on. Uh, over here. Okay, so what we are doing over here is we are trying to enable something called carousel template or something like carousels. And this is the JSON they have given, right? So what I have done is already copied, pasted the JSON over here. This is what we have similar to that, uh, which you will see. Only thing is I have removed the talk to agent, right? Instead of that, I am going to use something called this one, which will give us something like uh, this learn more, right? So that I will also add. So something like that over here, paste. Sorry, I have to copy all the three things. Okay, and paste. Tab, 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 tab. And make it JSON format. And hyperlink and URL. Okay, and uh, we will give a name something called learn more. Okay, same thing we will do for the above one so that it doesn't feel left out. Okay, now what we are doing over here is from our connect, AWS connect, right? We are going to call a Lambda, oh sorry, Lex. Okay, so we will create a help intent uh, which is already has to be there. Where's my help? H H H H H. Oh, sorry, it's with the main menu name. Okay, so whenever users say help, we will trigger a carousel view. Okay, which is nothing but this one. Okay, so where is my main menu? Uh, main menu, we will give JSON carousel over here. So it will display the carousel. Now the thing is to handle, to capture. It's a little bit different. Uh, and Listen to me carefully over here. It's a little bit different. Why? So it says over here, the selection on the carousel template result in JSON string response. Okay, so this is much important. Uh, like this is the JSON string response it generates. When you select for the list or panel or buttons, right? Those are string over here. It's JSON string. So once you select any option, so what I mean over here, you see if I scroll up, so if I select purchase ticket, right? So it will come as something like identifier zero template uh, list will be the name that you are given, like explore our travel options. And in that, the purchase ticket will be the value, which is nothing but uh, over here, book hotels, okay? So what we are going to do is we are going to create an intent based on the selections, right? So what I mean by selection. So if you see over here, we have book flights and book flights. Both are the same. But what we are doing is book flights for New York, book flights for California. So either we create slot for this, right? Or we create a uh, slot for this. What I meant is if I create an intent for book flights as an intent training phrase, I will clear uh, this uh, title as slots. Okay, so let's understand how we can do that. So let me go back and if I if you download my this uh, <clears throat> what do you say the land of file right? So this is present in the GitHub, which is the link in given in the description section of the YouTube video. So this is what we will get. We will re we have removed all these uh, characters which is not supported by Lex training, right? So if you see over here, I have removed all those uh, extra character. Now what we will do is we will create an intent called book flights, right? That is what we have over here. So let's create one. Book flights, right? And in that, oops. In that we will give trading phrase this one. Now, over here, 
this is going to be vary for the California one, right? So if you go over here, this is for New York and same thing we will have for California. See over here only the difference is this two state. So we don't want to confuse the NLP which one to select. So what we will do is we will create this one as custom entity. Create a new slot, state name, something like that. And we already have a add intent to the slot, right? And we will name it as state name. Okay. And uh, if you go back to that slot, I will save it. State name. And also we have what? California, right? So we will add that name over here. Save. Okay, so now what it will do, it will trigger this one, this intent. Now the thing is we have to pass this slot back to the Amazon Connect also, right? So that we have to know which one has been selected. So what I will do is I will return this one back to my, uh, what is this, uh, Lambda, okay? So what I will do is for the book flights, uh, if I scroll down, main menu it triggered, right? Now for my book flights and there will be another one. I am capturing the slots and adding into a session attribute, which we will use into our uh, Amazon Connect. Okay, so let me quickly clear the another uh, uh, for the book flight. So for the book flight, it will be it will be book hotel sorry book hotels it will be this one over here so let's create an intent called book hotels first uh, over here create intent book hotels cannot have space add and we will add the training phase And we will select this one as which one? Ours, what was that? State name, right? And we already have that add slot to the intent, okay? And we will name it as state name. Oopsie, what happened? Can we do control Z? We can't do. What was that? New York. What? New York. It will be state M. What I'm doing? C A T. State name and this will be state name. Okay. So only one training phases with those one. Now let me do the same. We have to return this one to our uh, Lex and give initialize the Lambda with custom UI, give permission, okay. And now what we will do is we will do a build. Let's do a build. And what will happen is from here, once uh, user select any of this option, it will trigger this. And we will be returning as a plain text, but we will also passing the uh, slots which has been detected. Okay, so over here uh, we will be calling main menu intents, and our intents were book hotels, right? So I will give book hotels, and another one was book flight, right? Uh, Contain intent reference to same slot. Uh, But the bot main menu intent content intents that reference to slim slot state name, but main menu intents, but different version. Why? Have we given different version? Okay, latest over here, click save and book hotels give latest and click build okay meanwhile it does that book hotels is done and what is that book flights 
copy over here go back and give book flights click save so now what will happen is once user say book a flight so let's say we will do for book a flight we'll come over here and uh, we will select the state name okay and over here from legs we will not getting in the slots right we will be getting in the session attributes because that's where we have saved okay so we have saved to the session attributes and what we will do is we will play it out uh, uh, what was that state name right now what the name we have given uh, state name right state name so we will give state name and state name and click deploy over here we'll go back over here and give state name click save and over here once you just select book a flight we will say you have selected a book flight intent and attribute is state name for state something like this click save and publish meanwhile it has also published let's test it out so we'll go to our test instance over here let me refresh this page and uh, click over here so it will say ask for help so we should get a carousel okay so we got the carousel over here now since for the book of flights we have uh, created those uh, phrases right so let me select a book of flight we selected california and we got the state name selected as california let's try it out for the another one that uh, we have new york i think oops uh, let me type help for new york uh, new york came over here let's try out another feature that it has uh, so it has something called hyperlink right so let's see if it is working or not if i click over here learn more right so it gives a pop-up and it opens the url which we have given over here so if i go back to my uh, link over here so this is the link which gets open over here now if you remember that uh, over here they have some images right cool images which is not appearing for us right if you see over here we don't have so what we will do we will add those now for that to add it right uh, i will go to the list because we need that format where is the list yeah this is the list and if you see over here this is what we have to add something like that so we will go back to our lambda and over here after subtitle we will add one more comma and over here also let's click deploy and let's see if that uh, apple image is coming or not so let's end the chat over there let's start the chat again did we deploy yeah deploy and click help now we can see that image is also coming up right both have the same image because we just copied from this image which is pointing to apple so yeah that is how we can enable uh, carousel uh, features like this one right and we can support up to five uh, carousel feature uh, scroll down or you can say item or the objects in a particular chat instance or particular time right and yeah that's all uh, from my side for this one hopefully you like the video thank you have a nice day